Hello, so today I've got my what I got for Christmas video and uh, this Christmas I was very lucky and had lots of presents bought for me for my family and friends and um, just a little disclaimer, I know everyone has to say this but I'm not bragging, I just love to see what everyone else got for Christmas so I thought I'd film mine and actually this was the first video that I'd filmed of myself this time last year so it's kind of like um, my first ever YouTube video so it's nice that I've done it again this, this year as well so, so I'm going to start off with the clothes that I got for Christmas so first off I had these jeans and they're just the normal I probably showed you these in my what I got for my birthday video as well my birthday haul but I had the grey version these are just skinny jeans from Primark which are like a dark denim with like a bit of a wash to them like by here and they're just turned up at the bottom they're just the regular skinny jeans from Primark so the next thing I got was this sweatshirt and this is from Primark also it's got like all Marvel and like pop art type comic book print all over it and I really like it. it's really comfortable and it's long line as well so it like covers your bum and stuff with skinny jeans so I really like that. I'm absolutely loving sweatshirts and jumpers at the moment, as I'm sure everyone is, because the weather's just been so cold. So I'm actually wearing this one now. This is from fdavenue.com, and it's got like a geek bunny on the front of it, but this will be in my FD Avenue haul, and I've actually done FD Avenue outfit posts on my blog as well, if you want to check that out. But then the next thing I got was this sweatshirt, and this is a My Little Pony sweatshirt, which looks like this. It's just grey. It's very similar to my Marvel one, but I just really like them, and I get a lot of wear at them. So it's like a nice thin cotton material, and it's just really nice. This one isn't long line. This is, like, it's not short. It's just a normal jumper length. Um, but it's really nice, really comfortable, and I didn't actually have any My Little Ponies, I don't think, when I was younger. But I just think that's a really cute print, and it's got little ponies all over it. And I just really like that style at the moment, I just think that's really cool. The thing I got was this midi dress, which looks like this, and it's green and black. I don't actually know what this is called, this, like, finish to the material, but it's got cap leather look sleeves, and I really like um, it. I posted pictures, obviously, from Christmas Day of me wearing that on my Instagram as well. I don't really, like, wear, like, dresses and stuff, so I really wanted to get a nice Christmas dress and wear it for Christmas Day, so I was really pleased with that, and I really liked it. So then this next thing is pyjamas and it, they look quite messy and gross now because I've worn them but and my hair's stained the hood as well but it's a pyjama set which it looks like this, this is a grey top and they're not the most attractive pyjamas but I just wanted really comfy like snuggly pyjamas around winter time and they're just, this is like the hooded top, it's got a hood on the back of it and they've got matching bottoms which are white with grey stars on and it's got that in the hood as well which I think is really nice and they're really comfortable, they are just so snuggly, they're like the fluffy material but I've got like some pulls in it now where the cats have pulled it but I just really love them, they're really snuggly and I think they were, um, I think that set was like £10 for the top and the bottom so I think that's really good the next thing I got were these high top trainers and these were, these are very similar to the ones I had in my What I Got For Christmas last year video but they had a hidden heel in them, these haven't, they've got no heel and they're like faux suede, like by here so they feel really nice and they've got like studs on the front of them and um, my mum actually said she, she got these from a website called Everything Fiverr which I just think is a massive bargain because for a fiver for those, like, I just think that's really good and they don't even feel cheap, like they feel really good, like this faux leather feels really soft so can't wait to wear those and they're just so my style, like, I've probably got like four or five pairs of high tops now because I just love them, they're just so comfortable and I'll just get loads of wear out of those. So I've been banging on to my friends and family about how much I want to take care of my skin. Now that I've lost the weight that I wanted to lose, I want to concentrate on getting my skin in good condition. So I went a bit crazy for the skincare. I decided that I never had any problems with like moisturiser and stuff when I was using Simple like ages ago. So my brother actually got me this Simple skincare set which features their Kind Skin Moisturising Face Wash, their Kind Skin Soothing Facial Toner and their Light Hydrating Moisturiser which I used to use all the time and it's just the best moisturiser for underneath my makeup because it doesn't, doesn't feel greasy or like I just want to get it off, it just feels so nice, it soaks into my skin really quickly and it just is a lovely base for my makeup for all day so I got that and I love those. I also received these simple age resistant day and night creams so I'll be using those soon, I'll be doing a full review on them on my blog. I've been trying to find a good eye cream as well and I thought as I was going to go with all the simple skincare then I thought I'd just carry on and get the simple age resistant eye cream which I've heard really good reviews about online so I'm going to try that as well. I also got the simple 
Counter Skin Vital Vitamin Day Cream with SPF 15. So I'll try that and see if that's any good for underneath my makeup as well as a base. And I also got the Simple Counter Skin Deep Cleansing Face Mask, which I've used and I really like it. And Scotty's chewed it, so that's why it's all chewed. So yeah, so that's all my skincare. I also picked up a few makeup bits from Primark and I got this egg shaped sponge, which looks a bit gross now because I've used it, but this is basically like the beauty blender, but it's like a pound from Primark, so I was really chuffed that I found one of those. I also got a crystal nail file from Primark, which is really good because my nails are so thick that I don't really get on with the like thin nail files, I've got to have a crystal one and that one's just really good. And then I also got the nail polish remover pads from Primark, which, which also smell amazing. I wouldn't recommend you smell nail polish remover, but they smell, they don't smell like nail polish remover at all. They smell like pomegranates or something. They just smell really nice and they're quite thin and really, really oily. So like one pad does like all five nails. I think that's really good. I also got two of the MUA blushes from Superdrug and they're the MUA blusher in Marshmallow and the MUA cream blush in the shade Lush which looks like that and they're pretty similar but the ones are cream and the ones are powder. Another thing that I got for Christmas was this bourgeois bronzing primer which I've wanted for ages and it's basically a cream bronzer which looks like this and I just love the idea of this. It smells amazing as well. I'm I'm not I didn't want this for as a to be used as a primer. I wanted this to be used over the top of my foundation as a bronzer. I'm quite dry so when I use my bronzing powder it's like just loads and loads of powder and I, get, look, I look quite cakey so I thought that a cream bronzer would be perfect for my skin at the moment and as I said it smells amazing. It smells like a coconut like suntan cream which I just love and I've got on really well with that so far so I'm loving that. I also got the MUA Pro Base Fixing Mist which I'm going to use like after I've used my after I put my makeup on just to fix all my makeup for the day and I've been using that and I really do like it. It's really nice. It gives my skin like a nice flush of moisture after I've done my makeup, which is really good. And it just looks really natural as well, so I like that. And then I also got the MUA nail varnish in the shade Plum Noir. I think Plum Noir, which looks like this, and I just think that is such a nice shade. I was after a shade like this because it's like a nice, well, it's obviously a plum colour, but I was on something nice and dark for like Christmas Day, and I just really like that. It's really pretty, and it's like a pound, I think. So, the next thing I got was this Soap and Glory set from Boots, which is the Bright and Bubbly set, which includes the Hand Food, Clean On Me, Righteous Butter, and Scrub of Your Life, which I haven't actually used any of these things before, but I've heard loads and loads and loads of reviews online about them, and everyone loves the Soap and Glory range in general, so I thought. I give it a go and I just was really excited when I got this set because I just couldn't wait to give everything a try and I do really like everything so far so loving that. So the next thing I got is also from Silk and Glory and it's from Boots and it's the Once Upon a Lime set which looks like this and it includes a body puff, Sugar Crush Silk and Glory body scrub, the Sugar Crush body butter and the Sugar Crush body wash and it smells amazing. It smells like limes and kiwis and like lime and kiwi the body butter smells like lime and kiwi like yogurt which just smells amazing and I've just loved using that like I've used the sugar crush body wash like every day since Christmas day and it's just so lovely I'll definitely be repurchasing these things when I run out because it's just so good and like the body butter like it's just an enormous tub just a 300ml tub so I'm chuffed with that and that's gonna last me ages and it just smells amazing Mm. I literally could eat it but I won't but it just smells amazing. Every year my dad always gets me a like French manicure set from normally by Asda I think it is. I'm not sure if these are Asda or whether they're somewhere else but they're called Colour Workshop. This is a set of 10 nail polishes and I just think they're really fun and I was going to play around with those so I love, get I love getting the sets for Christmas because they're just so fun like all you want to do is just chill out and do your nails so that's really good. And then he also, my dad also got me the French manicure set which is called the Colour Works French Nails again and that is really good. The top coat in this set is literally like the best top coat ever. So mine and Craig's main present to each other was a new TV which we are so chuffed with. Our old TV was just so broke, it was just a joke, like we needed a new TV for so long. So to make the most of the new TV we had like quite a few Blu-rays off, off our family. So I actually had Aven Avengers Assembled off my dad because he knows like how much we love. We love the Iron Man's um, films so um, we've watched half of the Thor film I think so I really like that and I'm a total geek so I don't mind saying that I love like like action films and stuff like not complete action but they're like they're action but they're also a little bit of comedy so I do like those and um, that we've watched it and it's really good like I do really if you like that type of thing then I do recommend this film it's so good it's like all the Marvel characters all in one so that's really good and I think they're doing the second one as well which would be really good 
When me and Craig were out shopping with my dad just before Christmas, we also spotted the Just Dance 2014 PlayStation 4, which I had wanted, but I wasn't, like, I didn't really want it for, like, £60, because obviously the next generation games are really expensive, so I didn't really want to spend £60 on it. Um, when I spotted this, I think it was £28 in Asda, so I couldn't leave it there for that, and I really did want it. Uh, it is so much fun, like, if you like dancing, then you're going to love this game, because it's just so good. The songs are really, really good, they're, like, modern songs. I've loved playing that this Christmas, it's really good. And they've got, like, a Just Sweat mode, so I think I'm going to be doing loads of workouts on that as well, because that's really fun. I told Craig's sister how much I wanted a bobble water bottle. So she actually got me one and this is the litre bottle which is so good because I want to start drinking like you know the amount of water that I should be having every day and like I forget to drink enough water so I'm always dehydrated. We filter our drinking water all the time with a Brita filter jug but I wanted like something that I'm gonna I'm gonna remember to drink my water when it's in this type of form like a bottle and I'll know how much I've drunk because I know that's a litre. So she actually got me one of these, and I was, which I was really pleased with because I've wanted them for ages. You haven't heard what these are. These are the bubble water bottles, and they filter the water as you drink. Like you just fill this bottle up with tap water as you drink from here. It filters as you're drinking it, so I think it's really good. Such a good design, such a good idea. So I love that, and I've drank from it loads since Christmas. Craig's sister also got me this nail varnish set from Boots, which is 17 nail stash set, which has nine nail. Oh, <laughs> frame. <laughs> which includes nine nail varnishes and I just think they're really nice. They've got like a peach, a hot pink, purple, two reds, a nice ruby one or a bright red, um, two te a blue and a teal, glitter and then a silver and a gold, which I actually haven't got a gold, just a flat gold nail varnish so I was really chuffed with that and they're really good as well so I was chuffed that she got me them and I'm just going to get loads of new set of them. I'm going to need to make myself a new nail shelf because my nail shelf is a bit overflowing now so we need to make room for those. And then Craig's sister also got me this awesome bedding from Asda which I'd had my eye on for a while and as you know I obviously love Paris and the Eiffel Tower and every anything with the Eiffel Tower or Paris on it I just love it. So and I always got, I've always got like Paris themed bedding in here so when I saw this I told her about it straight away and it's got the Eiffel Tower on it. It's got the Eiffel Tower on it here with like flowers and like a la like a cause I think it's like um a postcard type print uh, here and like stamps and stuff and the pillowcases are actually like envelopes so they look really cute and I cannot wait to put that on the bed because that'll just look awesome with the wall sticker so I love that so I was really pleased that she got me that my dad also got us this mulled wine scented candle and I'm not actually sure where this is from I've read the label and I can't figure out where it's from so I'm not sure where he picked this up on his travels but um it smells amazing. It smells like, it smells quite like sweet, so it doesn't really smell like wine. It, it smells like a really sweet mulled wine, and it's like cinnamony, and it's just lush. I really love that. And it's massive as well. It's like the large Yankee ones, so that's going to last a while. So the next thing I got was off my friend Laura, and it's this Yankee candle in the fragrance Salted Caramel. I expressed also my love for Salted Caramel in my Yankee candle haul, and it just smells amazing, makes you want to eat everything. so lovely. And... This is the large jar jar, but I've burnt this every day since Christmas Day, and look, it is like halfway down now. But literally, when I'm in a burnt it every day, I mean I put it on like 10 o'clock in the morning, and it's burnt until like 9 o'clock at night. So I love that, and that is just so good. Everyone that's come over around Christmas has just said how lush that smells, so I love that. Then off my friend Katie, we got a hamper, which we were really chuffed with, because it was this massive hamper with all our favourite cheeses. We love cheese, so we, like, we had all our favourite cheeses. I wasn't going to be counting any of my weight brushes points over Christmas. I was going to have a complete week off for Christmas, ended up having three weeks off for Christmas, but that's another story. But I just loved eating all the cheese over Christmas, so the hamper that she got us was all our favourite cheeses, olives, crackers, there was like sweets in there, there was his and hers socks, and there was also these amazing Mr. and Mrs. mugs, which just look beautiful. They're like, I think they're like quite expensive. I'm not sure where she got them, but they are just so nice. They uh, cream with silver Mr. and Mrs. on the front of them, and I just love them. I just think that's so thoughtful, like, because obviously we just got engaged. I think that's just such a nice present, and we opened it and we were like, wow, like, this is a really good hamper. Like, it was just, it, the hamper just summed us up, and I just think these are just such a nice, extra special thing to put. They were right in the middle with Miss, Miss, his and her socks in there and um, some sweets, so I just love that. And they, on the bottom, they say, all you need is love, so I love those. They're just so pretty. And I don't actually want to use them because I don't want to break them because I'm so clumsy, but we will do and I just love those and they're really nice. So off my friend Emily, she bought me this amazing nail art book which has like 50 plus nail art designs in there and cool ideas and it's called Nail Candy and it is amazing. It's got, it looks like this inside and it has got like all the basics about nail art and 
everything you need to know about nail art, like everything you need, to, like all your tools, everything. It says like nail basics, and then it shows you like the perfect manicure, explains all about what you need to do for your perfect manicure, and then it's literally got like pages and pages of how to step by step nail art ideas, which is just amazing. You all know how much I love my nail art. So that is just an awesome idea. And the book is just so nice. It's a hardback as well, which I love. And it's just really nice. And I will be busy doing all these. I love those video game nails. How good are they? So good. So yeah, definitely be using that. And then to go with that, she got me these nail gem nail gem wheel. I think these are from Primark. Oh yeah, they are Primark Beauty. And they have just amazing rhinestones in there. They got stars, rhinestones, studs, like caviar beads. So she got me those to go along with the book. So I'm definitely gonna be busy doing my nail art. And then these last things were off my auntie. So she got me the animal body wash, body lotion, and body scrub set, which looks like this. So I can't wait to try that because that just looks amazing. And I love this packaging. It's like got the animal logo up there. So I'll be using that for some sort sort of makeup and beauty storage of some kind. She also got me this next fragrance set, which is lovely, as it's got a body cream, a body wash, and I'll see the fragrance in the middle there. And that is just lovely. The packaging is beautiful as well, so can't wait to try that. She also got me the Lipsy Eau de Toilette Rollerball Trio, which looks like this. And I can't wait to smell those. I'm not actually sure what they smell like, but I can't wait to smell those. And I'm sure they smell lovely. And they'll just be really handy for like in your handbag when you go now. Me and Craig love penguins, and we've always said we like penguins because they find like one person for life. And we always say we like penguins. So my auntie knows that, and she got me this gorgeous key ring, which looks like this, and he's a little sparkly rhinestone penguin. And that'll just look lovely on my keys. He's just really cute. Also got me this pack of socks from Tesco's F and F range, and they've got little penguins on them. There's a little bit of a theme. She also got me this lovely grey, and I think it's got like a little hint of like a bluey teary colour in there as well. Tiny hint of it with a silver and gold fleck running through it. This lovely scarf. And the last thing my auntie got me was this set of pajamas, which is so cute. It's got a penguin on it again, and it says all wrapped up in polka dot pink here and it's got polka dot pink and white bottoms so that's really cute and I think that's from that's from George that is in Asda so I love that and that's just really cute so I can't wait to snuggle and wear those and then the last thing that I got for Christmas was this lovely photo frame off my auntie Donna and it says love and it's in this lovely like grey colour and I'm going to hang this in here somewhere because I just think that's so lovely going to put a picture of me and Craig from Christmas Day in there and I just really like that it's got like a rope um, hanging on the back of it so I'm going to probably hang that on the wardrobe or the door I think that's just so nice and it'll just finish off this room really well and she also got me a new look voucher. So that was my what I got for Christmas video. I hope you enjoyed seeing what I got for Christmas. And I've loved watching it. I've been Alice's videos on YouTube. I hope you all had a great Christmas. And I hope you all got what you wanted. And I'll see you in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye. Hello. And today I'm filming my what I got for Christmas video. Hello, Jode. I've had for seven years. Love you, Jode.